Good afternoon. Today is Friday, April 12th. Uh, I am Casey Rigner, the PIO for Allegheny County Department of Emergency Services. I'm joined with Fred McMullen from the National Weather Service to go over some of the flooding that we had last night, some stats for you, and even maybe touch base on what we're expecting this weekend with possibly some additional rain. So, Fred, I'll hand it over to you. So here's a, a chart that kind of gives you, you know, kind of the radar estimated rainfall precipitation that fell last night. The red shading indicates values between three to almost three and a half inches of rainfall across, you know, the Oakdale, McDonald, South Bay, a township. And also we had another cluster up in the North Hills. Uh, but for the most part, widespread over two inches of rain across Allegheny County that fell last night. To put this in perspective in terms of, you know, how, how often do we get a rain event like this? Uh, so the red shading here shows usually a uh, one in 10 to 20 year event. We do have some pink pixels that bring it up to a 50 to year rain event, which is a 2% chance of happening every single year. So again, very low probability for this kind of rain event, but we had it last night and we saw all the devastation and flooding that happened as a result. Just to give you an idea across Allegheny County, there's a lot of numbers here. I'm not going to go over all of them, but as you can see, you know, we've had reports, you know, ground truth reports of 3.64 inches was the highest in the city of Pittsburgh. Uh, Imperial had almost three and a half inches of rainfall. And even McCandless Township had, you know, 3.27 inches of rain that fell last night. So again, a lot of area, uh, a lot of rainfall on an already saturated ground is not a good recipe. Uh, just to give you an idea what we're in store this weekend. So the low pressure system is uh, beyond us, the cold front. So we just have wraparound showers this weekend. It's going to be windy. Um, that's the main headline. Uh, we'll leave a wind advisory in effect until 7 a.m. Saturday. We're looking for wind gusts upwards of 45 to 55 miles an hour. The peak wind gusts looks like they're going to happen tonight between 5 p.m. and 10 p.m. across Allegheny County uh, with values, you know, fifth, low 50s potentially. And then slowly uh, through the night, they will subside. Um, the winds won't totally die down this weekend. We're going to see speeds anywhere between 25 to 35 miles an hour, both Saturday and Sunday afternoon. As far as the rainfall forecast, um, in terms of already swollen streams and creeks and rivers, over the next uh, 48 hours uh, for Allegheny County, we're looking uh, around a quarter of an inch of rainfall. You know, couldn't rule out a half inch here or there. Again, nothing significant that we saw last night across the county. Um, this is uh, rainfall that will kind of slowly dampen the falls of the streams and creeks as we move through the weekend. Uh, as far as the rivers go, of course, the big one is the Ohio River at Pittsburgh. Um, the latest forecast for Pittsburgh brings it to 25.6 feet, which you know has impacts at Point State Park, the 10th Street Bypass, the bathtub. So again, those um, those will be impacted this weekend. With it really not kind of falling below you know to pool level until the early part of next week, has given so much rain that's fallen across the region so you know with streams and creeks being high again just want to rec recognize uh, flood safety uh we went through last night you know there was water rescues um but again remember if you see water barricades uh please don't drive around them uh, again you know you never know how deep that water is even if it's standing water it only takes you know a couple inches for your car to become a boat and that's not a good thing and then lastly, again, with, with the heavy rain events, so to give you in perspective, yesterday's rainfall in Pittsburgh was the 25th wettest day on record in Pittsburgh. And remember, our records for Pittsburgh go back to 1871. So again, the long period of record, but again, April 11th yesterday was the 25th wettest day on record. Uh, for the month, Pittsburgh International is over 6.11 inches above normal for precipitation. So with a saturated ground and all that rainfall, you know, we saw some landslides yesterday. We're going to continue to watch for landslides as we go through these next series of rain events. Uh, so again, just you know, if you see one, you know, just be careful. Um, have a plan where to go. Call your local officials. Um, let them know. And then also again, listen for what uh, listen and watch for rushing water or mud. Um, trees cracking are usually signs of the landslides developing. So and then also just go back on some um, some precipitation records for Pittsburgh just to show you how unusual this April is. Uh, this is the only month on record where the number one and number two greatest precipitation totals have occurred in the same year, April 2nd and April 11th. So again, for the, the max precip for April for Pittsburgh, both dates, number one and number two, both happen uh, within, a, uh, within essentially nine days of each other. So again, saturated grounds uh, for sure.
So last night we had our swift water teams out making rescues, especially in Oakdale, Bridgeville area. Uh, we are expecting some more rain in the upcoming weekend. Our, our ground is quite wet, very saturated. Our rivers, streams, creeks, things of that nature are getting full. Looks like cresting maybe early tomorrow morning. Um, my concern is, and I want your opinion on this, is any rain in the near future, let's say over the next few days, this next week, going to cause any concern for additional flooding? So right now, the rainfall that we're expecting into uh, through the day uh, today through Saturday and then Sunday night and then Monday is our next shot. Um, again, right now, those rainfall amounts will be, you know, again, less than a half inch for each one of them. So right now we're going to be right now. We think we'll be OK. Um, it's just going to see streams and creeks that are going to be elevated. So if you have like a low water crossing or a stream that's kind of a really, really tall bank, uh, there still could be residual flooding with that as we move through, it's gonna really help us out in terms of for the ground to soak up the water. Once these leaves come out in the trees in the next couple of weeks, that'll be a big help. Cause right now without the leaves and the trees, the ground can't hold as much rain in April as it does in May. Yeah, there's a wind advisory in effect until 7 a.m. Saturday. So we're looking for wind gusts 45 to 50 miles per hour with the peak wind gusts happening this evening, dinner time into the uh, evening hours. Great, so with that, that means for our people, um, you know, we could have down branches, maybe some down trees if those are near power lines. So we'll keep an eye out for those kind of things as well.